Welcome back to the Inner Voice. Friends, again, uh, topic for today is temptation is real and it's true. Okay, it's not just uh, in the mind, it's reality. It's happening every day. We are being tempted every day. But how do we overcome? Well, friends, pray. Just be prayerful. Uh, in fact, the Lord Jesus Christ said in Luke 22, verse 40, on reaching the place, he said to them, meaning to the disciples, pray that you will not fall into temptation. So that pray. Because if you pray, you will not fall into temptation because you will see things at the right perspective. That you can consider things that are happening around and you can re react properly. If you are praying, because your prayer will connect you with God. And we said earlier, friends, that if we submit to God, the devil will flee. <laughs> Amen. And so, again, we have to pray. In uh, Job 31, verse 11, he said, I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a girl. Temptation can come, friends, through the eye. We can easily be tempted. The lust of the eyes, friends, it comes. And Job said that I made a covenant with my eye. Will you be able to do that same thing as Job? Said that I made a covenant. When I see things, yes, you know, I, I, I see people, I see things, I see women, but my covenant with my eyes is that I don't see them lustfully. I will not desire them in my heart. I will not have a lustful desire for them. Friends, do the same thing. Let us do the same thing. Even material things. You see something, you don't just covet these things to the point that you would even steal just to be able to get it. Temptation. Make a covenant with your eye. Make a covenant, covenant with your desires that you will not desire things that are contrary to what God's will is for you. Amen. Just overcome it. Make that covenant just like Job had done. Now, in uh, Psalm 119, verse 9, we are told, How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. How can a young man keep his way pure? Friends, said that by living according to your word. So, again, for us to overcome temptation, have the word of God. <laughs> Amen. We can be made pure. We can shield ourselves against temptation if we have the word of God with us. So I pray, friends, that we are not slaves. We are not slaves. We, we cannot do anything but to follow the dictates of the wicked one and be tempted in all areas of our lives. Rather, let us resist temptation, overcome temptation by the blood of the Lamb and by the power of his word. Amen. And then in Psalm 119, verse 11, <clears throat> we are told, I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Friends, the word of God should be here, that we may not sin against him. Because it's the word of God that will shield us from all sins. The word of God will remind us of what is good and what is evil. Good has a reward, evil has a reward. Amen. The reward of good is eternal life, the reward of evil is death and destruction. So, may the word of God be in us. In Proverbs 7, 21 to 23, we are told, With persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once, he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a, dip, or like a deer stepping into a noose, till an arrow pierces his liver, like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cause him his life. So friends, that's how the devil works. Persuasive words. See, this was, this was the case of a prostitute enticing a man with persuasive uh, words and then leading the man. And the man would just follow. Friends, once you are gripped with temptation, as if you're a slave, you cannot resist following and following, and yet we are told, friends, that he is going to the slaughter. 
he will be slaughtered he will die but at that moment friends well he did not make a covenant with his eyes that's why with persuasive words and so the devil can persuade us many times friends and big time he can cause us to wow good things good life not knowing that we are being led into the slaughter so why suffer friends when you can avoid it now so better resist temptations now how do we resist temptation in galatians chapter 5 verse 16 we are told so i say live by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature for the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the sinful nature they are in conflict with each other so that you do not do what you want so he said that then for you to resist temptation live by the spirit so that you don't desire or you don't live by the desires of the sinful flesh see let the lord come see let his word come and guide and lead us friends so don't just be a slave to your desires there are good desires there are evil desires and god had given us the wisdom to distinguish the two so let's go for the good desires you know if you get if you have good desire the promise is that is that delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart if these are good desires delighting in the lord is key friends and delighting in the lord will save us from temptations because we are close to god amen and so friends again don't belittle temptations don't suffer as a consequence of temptations these are just to feed the flesh see the te temptation will only lead us away from god and once we are away from god then he will come and pounce on us he will come and destroy us but why allow ourselves when we now know the tricks we are not unaware of the schemes of the devil friends there will be temptation but as we said friends god will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we are able to handle he will make a way out for us god knows our capacity god knows our strength god knows our faith he will not let us be destroyed because we have faith in him amen and so friends again trust in the lord believe in god call on the name of the lord jesus christ and you will be saved from all these temptations may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his shalom his peace glory to god friends as always be reminded faith comes by hearing and hearing by the inner voice of god